so I can... Okay, yeah. It's not where we want to go. I just wanted to make sure I'd had the... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, damn it. Now we're going to go this way. Because this is the door that was unlocked. Now this is one of those... If you hit the switch, it... Uh, activates the ones around it. Now, this puzzle's actually fairly simple. You only have to hit four specific switches. And I remember the answer by two, four, one, three. You hit the second switch on the first row, the fourth switch on the second row, the first switch on this row, and the third switch on this row. And by doing that, it activates all the switch. Is Damn, I wanted that. Oh, this one, it's, it's, this puzzle is fairly simple. It just requires a lot of timing on your part. What you do is when you hit this, it's going to, yeah, you have a limited amount of time to uh, get across there. And if you screw up, you only have to hit three switches. Dear God, if there was any more than that, I don't think it'd be possible to do this. This one is actually tricky. You're not supposed to go to the end. You're supposed to go right there. Ah, yeah, fuck you. Oh, by the way, these guys are just as weak to bomb as any other bombs as any other regular enemy in the game, and they're actually kind of slow. So hitting them with bombs is relatively easy. I just like using the sword because you know, it's cool. Now, watch out for these spiky balls, because they move. But, uh, they're still pretty easy to dodge. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you go down here, this is actually where we were just a minute ago. And to the left is where I went. Which for those switches. Where does this go? You know what? I don't care. Yeah, those guys don't move around very much. But they're immune to bombs when they're uh, down. Which is one reason why I don't like using bombs on them. Yeah. Uh, another good strategy for fighting these guys is to attack them from up or down. Uh, because of the way they're the little bomb. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that's supposed to be an herb, but for some reason it doesn't do anything. I'll go ahead and fill myself back up to full with, with one of my herbs. Let's see if it gives me an herb. Nope. Big a deal. Ah, now we're under the shadows. Take my laser beam sword. Yeah, I don't like this room. If for no other reason, for some reason, the Soul Eaters, which I, by the way, looked it up just a second ago, because it was bothering me, not knowing their names. They're called Soul Eaters, uh, which is what I thought they were called. They like to disappear more than usual for some reason. Like, you swing at them, and they'll disappear. I don't know. They're annoying. I don't like these guys. <laughs> Your best choice is to get as close as you can to them, and then as soon as they appear, blast them with your charge attack. 
kind of get close to where they disappeared from. Because they like to come out and attack you. There we go. That wasn't so hard. I think we're at the end here. I did get the Gilded Falcon, didn't I? Yes, I got the Life Vessel. Let me double check my list. Uh, give me a minute to find it, though. Okay. Now, I really don't have a good uh, strategy for this boss right here, uh, because the thing that makes this boss really difficult is it's the same boss that we fought when we were inside uh, Klein's mine. So it has the same attack patterns and everything. Nothing's different about the way it attacks you. Except... Whereas in Klein's head, if you let Klein be eaten, you just took some damage. If you let Giles be eaten, it's an instant game over. Okay? So that's what makes this boss battle hard. That's why I said you have to have a Wonder Essence before you try this. Don't try this without a Wonder Essence. That gives you basically a get-out-of-jail-free card if you screw up. Now, uh, I recommend that you actually... Up your fire scroll, and I'll show you why. Actually, I recommend you equip your bombs to start off with. It's this guy again. Yeah, this this is your a hint that uh, you can't let him be eaten. If he's damaged any further, he shall perish. <coughs> and as we know, if we if he, they die while we're in their heads, so do we. So And the thing that makes this even harder is Giles likes to move around. Now, uh Yeah, uh, if it comes between you and Giles, no contest, take the hit. Alright, what I like to do first is I like to... Ow, fuck. He also sucks a little harder than he does in uh, the previous boss battle, which makes this... However, that actually is your best weapon in this, because it actually hits him multiple times. And you can't be sucked up while you're doing damage. See, uh, to stop him from sucking up you or anyone, you actually have to... You have to actually hit him three times. This is what I like to do. I like to uh, use my magic elixir and blow 4 MP on it. That actually takes out an incredibly large chunk of the jump. Enough to where one or two bombs or one or two uh, sword strikes will actually kill him. Uh, that's something you really gotta do in this game. Let me get in a good position. Yeah, kind of in the middle. Yeah, the Soul Leech has been destroyed and Klein has been avenged. Yes! Awesome. Awesome. To the possum. I'm back. Well, see for yourself. He's alive. It's alive. <laughs> this is a wonderful, happy occurrence. I don't know if I could have dealt with yet another tragic death. Where am I? You should, but I am awesome. So, you know, I saved you. I could have saved Klein, but the freaking game plot demanded he died. Yes. And that is actually what you're supposed to do next. You're supposed to go to Maggie Scar and uh, tell the villagers that Giles is all good. And then it opens up the next dungeon, which I'm not going to do tonight. Uh, I 
can think of a few ways. Yeah, I know, I'm awesome like that. <laughs> and you proved my wrong! I think that's more important to him than me saving his life. Proving her wrong. Awesome. It's wonderful, however unexpected. Let's go talk to Maya and rub it in her face. I'm gonna rub it in your face. Oh. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Only way I know how to stop that from slagging like that is, uh... Where does she go? She's not here, I bet. Only way I know how to stop that is to, uh, actually... Stop recording and start re recording again. But I used one herb, so I don't think I need to buy any more. Uh, however, do not buy one of these. Because they're not expensive. Yeah, you can wait. Put my bombs and we'll go save. And we'll call it a night. I defeated a giant reptile. Who has the best name of Reptilicus Maximus? Yeah. And I saved a man's life. A virtual man, but still a man. Yes. Sam and that parchment will injure. So we... Yeah, we'll save there. Alright. Uh, seems like a good uh, place to stop. I'll see you guys next time. On a Lundra, where we will go to Magnuscar and tell the people that they need not be afeared, for I am here.